All right, I am in Hoffman Estates. And if you're familiar, this is the development development I'm at. I've done a video over there before. It was a sports authority that was abandoned. Now it's a Burlington. It's that development at Higgins and uh, Route 59. And this here, this, I don't know when this closed, but this here is an abandoned claim jumper. It's a restaurant. Now I've eaten here before. And even back when they built this, back in like 06 or 07, it was very overpriced. So let's go take a look at this, an abandoned claim jumper, and you can see the label scar for it. It basically was just a general restaurant that served like anything. So, <laughs> but, it, but it was expensive though. So here you go. Can I get in here? Nope. All right. This must be like the outdoor patio here. Oh, that fan is still going a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. So this is kind. Of, this is kind of built like the architecture is kind of like the old west, like the gold rush. Hence the name claim jumper. So yeah, this is the uh, patio apparently. I can be able to get into it. I'm trapped. <laughs> Let's just make our way down this way here. But yeah, they were overpriced even back then. They must have welded this sucker shut. <laughs> push uh, no it's locked it's not welded shut <laughs> all right so let's go this way then <clears throat> never had crumble cookies before how are they are they worth it I saw one over there they're popping up everywhere now oh don't tell me we got some blacked out windows Oh, the curtains are down. Man. Eh, we might be able to get a show. Oh, here's the uh, foyer area. Oh, we got some notes over there. We'll see in a second. TJ Maxx cart. I hate these little carts. <laughs> They're so cheesy. Ooh. They closed August 22nd of this 2022. So they closed six months, a, a, a little under six months ago then. Understaffing maybe, restaurant costs. Check that out, looks, looks like a cabin in there. And being overpriced. Then on the, on the side there, you see pictures of Old West things, of a shovel, somebody digging for gold. Nice bar right there. 1977, I guess there was another claim jumper that closed out. That was at Northbrook, and I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on Northbrook too, because I guess that mall is starting to really fall apart hey curtains are all down that sucks i mean i got a good shot through that front door Let's see here maybe we can get lucky up oh. ah here we go there's a nice fireplace there yep it is the inside of a claim jumper. And then also I'll keep an eye on Spring Hill too. Kohan owns that one and that's just down the street. I'll probably get to that later this year. There's still some more videos to do today. And it's already like past four o'clock. Did a lot of filming today. It was kind of sort of nice. Watch my head here because... 
icicles are melting. It's going to get to 40. It's supposed to get to 40 degrees today. Look at those lamps. Love them. Like these uh, leather booths here, too. And a little bit of a luxury there. I wonder how their prices ended up being before they closed. <laughs> yeah, restaurants are struggling. I mean, privately owned restaurants are really struggling. I mean, especially with a, a, a bakery. I, I could imagine how like much a bakery. Look at those chairs. Wood. Yeah, I could imagine a bakery struggling with the price of eggs right now. I mean, I think they're starting to come down a little bit. At Jewel yesterday, I saw them for $3.99, so. But the price of chicken is still sky high. Somebody staring at me over there in that Jeep. Look at that. Oh, here's another entrance here. Culver's Cup. Got me something to drink after this here. Yeah, that's a nice looking restaurant. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I've eaten here once. It was, it was before a hockey game over at the Sears Center. I don't know if it's called that anymore. Ooh, check out that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a neon restroom sign over on the left. All right, so this is the garbage area. So this sits kitty corner from that development, that Arboretum. Uh, later this year, I'm gonna go back and do that, re do a refilm of that because a lot of stores have shut down. A lot of stores have shut down in recent years. Oh, I can't go that way. What's that? Freaking guy doing in the Jeep. Hopefully, he's not like. Yeah, people just need to mind their own business. That's all I can say. But yeah, check this out here, though. Yeah, check out that architecture, though. Yeah, I didn't really step back here when I got to this side here. Yeah, check that out though. Wonder if somebody, wonder who could take it over potentially. And it sits on a nice road though. But like I, like I'm starting to say in other videos, do people need a restaurant this big anymore? Yeah, just the cost of everything has just skyrocketed over the last year. Such a shame. It's not fun anymore, you know. It's too bad. If there was anything over on the other side here, I think I checked over there and everything was curtained off. All right, one last look at this abandoned claim jumper restaurant, and we will get out of here. I see something else over here to film. All right then, so from Hoffman Estates, from this abandoned claim jumper, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, comment, and share these videos, please. God bless you. Continue shopping at your local businesses. Continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome.